Hey guys, what's going on? This is Life on the Emo Scene with the Emo Chronicles and, and my co-host. And today we have... Hi, I'm Luna Ghostess. Luna Ghostess. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. I love uh, your hair. You. My favorite color. I just have to say that. Favorite color. I love thank that. you. Mine too, actually. One of, one of my two favorites. Has it always been that color? Like... Oh, not at all. No, absolutely not. I've had every hair color that you could ever imagine. <laughs> I'm loving that. I could tell. I, I've That's always seen you with the question. blue. The yeah, I've had the blue. I've had the blue for a long time. This is the longest that I've ever had a a single hair color because I still have multicolor in it. But I've had blue since September of last year, wow, and that is the longest that I've ever kept. Is it hard to maintain? Blue. Um, not really. I'm super lazy. So like, I just barely touched up my roots for the first time since I, since September recently. Mm. Um, and I, like and I work in a barber shop, so I know how that works. Like I was going to yeah. actually dye my hair teal, like pastel teal because I work at a barber shop. So I was like, hmm, this would be a good idea to do here. Cause I could just touch it up all the time. But I saw that like maintenance for that would be really hard, especially if you have short hair, cause the roots just come out fast and my yeah. hair grows fast. So it doesn't I look just, bad with roots, I, though, so I didn't mind it too much. I can't see That's your roots. in right now. I, I just okay. barely re-dyed it like a few days oh. ago. So <laughs> I, would so I have to say, your hairdo, this is one of the big reasons I wanted you on, because you are still doing scene. Your hairdo is seen, right? The black underneath the side bangs, that is so seen, and that's a thing that you don't <laughs> see like right now you everybody has a middle part right and then they have like the one color here one color here yeah <laughs> but you're still doing it so like I'm really curious like how long have you like like I don't even know start from the beginning like do you what consider are your yourself influences yeah yeah uh, like how do we even <laughs> so I uh I went through this phase from like and I say phase very lightly because I'm still here <laughs> so I'm 25 so in like sixth grade so like 2006 um is when I was finally able to start uh dressing more this way I've liked it ever since I was really young I used to have a box of black clothes in my closet that I would put on every time I was mad at my mom like <laughs> the full like edgelord um and so that I finally would get like highlights and more black clothes in sixth grade and I, my part was like right here and it just shifted over and over until I didn't have one anymore throughout the years. Um, I started very, very, very early. <laughs> I love um, the I love year that. that you started. It's literally the year that the scene like bloomed. And out oh, of, I like, started out oh, right. I was perfect. Started out right, yes. That's, that's, <laughs> so were you on MySpace? More genuine. Oh, I was absolutely on MySpace. I used to yeah. have to go get on MySpace at my friend's house because we didn't have internet. <laughs> what was your MySpace name? Um, so it was Beautiful Disaster for a long time. <laughs> um, just, you know, the classic. Love it was it. also, um, my, I, got, I got a nickname from one of my friends because we thought we were all like these edgy kids. Um, and they called me Lextasy. Okay, um, this sounds like so many of my old friends' names on my face. I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, so then it was it was Lex to see baby with two Y's. Baby with two Y's. That you was have the baby. That was the thing. Lex to see that baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I also had <laughs> Whoa Baby for a minute, but I totally stole that from Full House. Wait, what state are you thing. living in? Utah. Like, I've been in Utah my whole life. Oh, okay, okay. Because I feel like if you lived in LA, I feel like we definitely would have been friends, like a hundred percent. Or like, <laughs> I mean, I would have tried to have been friends with you because I would have been like, look at the blue scene girl. <laughs> out of my way, pink haired scene girl. I found that I won. Just kidding. You know, there but, was so much pink. I've never, I've done pink, but never like full, full, like bright everywhere pink. I've just mm -hmm. added it in here and there. I can't, I don't think I'd look good with it. Maybe. I think you could. I, I think, think you could. You know what? Okay, movie. here's... <laughs> you get this all the time, and I know you do, because you commented it once. You look like Lita. And Lita Monster Bunny had pink hair forever, so you could rock it. Yeah, I... Uh, I Okay, that is one huge thing. My entire existence on the internet. My entire existence. I've been compared to Lita. The mm -hmm. whole time. Does like, I, I don't think... You look like her. Single, it doesn't bother like I think it's like, I think she's beautiful so I don't see it I've never been able to see it. I've even had friends like try and pull pictures and compare them and I'm like I don't see it I truly don't at least but, your like, friends I are take woke. it as a compliment <laughs> like she's beautiful yeah, I'll take it 
You should. No, she was like the blueprint. So I'm wondering, was she like an influence of yours or who were your biggest influences? That's the weird thing. I was thinking about it when I, we talked about me coming on here. I thought about it. I don't have any. I never looked at someone and said, I want that. It was just the aesthetic in general. Mm -hmm. I, I was like you, really tried thinking about it. I tried hard. Did like, you have any, not influences, but any scene queens that you related with or that you liked? That, not that you no. based any of your style off what? of, but did you? <laughs> well, no, were you, is that were weird? You a I mean, fan I, mean, I of any Lita. Oh. Like I loved you, Lita, but that was as far know as I got. Kiki Cannibal? Did you know Kiki Cannibal? Like, I knew of Kiki of Cannibal. Her? Like that's what I meant, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you knew of Kiki. Did you? I knew of Kiki Cannibal. I saw pictures and everything. I just, I never indulged in it. Like, okay. I never got fully at the time when I very first started all of this and like grew into it to be able to like fully reach it. I never knew any of these names. I yeah. never knew any of these girls except for Lita. And that was it. When it came to like any influencers, it was all. <laughs> the like emo images. boy youtubers those okay. were my influences. <laughs> all right well so did you know who amore hilton was just out of curiosity. I knew, yeah I, I knew yeah okay okay so <laughs> that, I, I he is her that's his sister hi <laughs> I, you're about to say he is her oh well that would have been yeah incorrect. he is her <laughs> yeah like, Amore Hilton is his me. sister <laughs> um no so i was just like, curious only in. because i wanted to follow that question up with so these girls didn't influence you or these scene queens didn't influence you, but did you look at them like they would be someone you can relate to on like, not an aesthetic level, but maybe on like a personal level since you all were sort of living that same colorful like lifestyle, if you get what I'm saying? So I want to say no. And the only reason I want to say no is because every time I saw these girls, the only thing I dreaded was like the upkeep of the way they looked the aesthetic of everything, that their hair, makeup, even their like MySpace photos, everything was so much. Mm -hmm. And I was this little kid <laughs> raised by my great grandparents. <laughs> like oh, I did okay, not okay. have access. My mom would not take me to Hot Topic until I was like 15 or 16. Wait, it was okay, miserable. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, they it didn't from what I saw in person, it didn't seem like it took much of like upkeeping, except for the roots. I would always call Lamore's roots out. I'd always be like, Your roots, what and we'd always have a joke. About? With, it was dude. so much upkeep. I used to no, have no. different. I'm saying, I'm saying did. there was a difference between the MySpace photos that were taken and posted and stuff than oh. hanging out every day. It's most of the time it was sunglasses no makeup and this isn't throwing shade by the way this is just literally <laughs> the lifestyle of someone that wants to keep that up doesn't really match with the lifestyle of someone that's like partying and that's what we were doing all the time so it's like sometimes when you're like partied out the next day and you don't want to get your makeup ready and you're a big scene queen you just throw on the sunglasses put that little pink bun on and get your day See? going get your soda with the straw <laughs> I, I would like, never know that. I I am uh, I was the only person that I knew that was even remotely like this until 2015, I think. Mm. Um, I was the only person. Not not one other person in my life hit the full tattoos, piercings, hair, you know, like raccoon eye makeup. Not one person in my not life. Real life in real life. Not one. So yeah. how did like people treat you? Did they treat you a lot different because of that? Kind of. Um, I never, like, I've never been, like, bullied for it or anything like that. I hear that a lot from people who kind of, like, carry out what I also try to carry out. Um, I hear a lot of people being bullied for it and stuff. Um, I've never had an issue past, like, people asking me to get my hair out of my face. That's the worst thing. It, don't do and it. it's, I was raised in a very like, like my entire family are like hicks. They're a bunch of cowboys. And so like our family though. pictures look very strange. And that's just kind of the kids I grew up with all very, I live in Utah. So it's either cowboys or Mormons. I and like that's that. it. They just looked at me weird. That's the worst thing that I ever got. It's like, I wish it was some crazy cool <laughs> story, but. No, no, that's honestly, I, <laughs> that's like a superpower. Have people look at you weird. I love that. I love being different when I'm in an area. Like I love being out of the norm. 
yeah. Oh yeah. I get what you're saying too, though. Like, um, they would look at you like normal and not treat you too different. Like other people would be like, I was bullied for my looks and blah, blah, blah. And that, that makes sense. But like you lived in a kind of good area, you'd say, right. Cause like I lived in Texas for six months in 2010 or 2009. I don't know which I forget one or the other. And I walked down the streets once and I only had like the flippy hair and the skinny jeans. I would, I didn't go all out with like color and piercings. And I remember that uh, this truck of like white guys just like rolled down the window and yelled the F slur. Like, I can't yell it right, obviously. So <laughs> yelled the F slur at me and then like just continued driving. And that was the only time I ever experienced actual like being bashed for that yeah. style and for, I guess, being gay. But they only assumed that I was gay because of the skinny jeans. I'm assuming because I didn't walk. <laughs> I mean the worst thing that I get even now the worst thing I've gotten like harassed more now than I ever did growing up and it's just dumb kids that come in onto my comments or live streams and say show me your wrists I was gonna say oh my god I get show me they still say that they still I I gotta gotta, usually only internet bullies now when it comes to people that look like you it's usually the people on the internet that are bullying them it's not people in real life anymore I get like constant wrist check comments and my mods usually wrist leave it alone because I'm like, oh, you guys want to see my tattoos? They're pretty sick. Yeah, like, yeah oh. I love that. <laughs> that's and that's, so that's as bad as it gets. Do they tell you to do a middle right part? Now. Like I always bring that up, but like um, they, they tell me to do it. I got I got people joking to me about a middle part the other night and then they took screenshot I did it. <laughs> no. And just for fun on my live stream, you know, I didn't have my hair teased that night, nothing. It was pretty easy. And uh <laughs> they they took pictures and they're all over my Discord. Like <laughs> it was it was embarrassing. Oh, I no. does not it does not suit me, especially cuz I've been training my hair my whole life to go a certain way. Mm-hmm. So my bangs, like one sat this way, you know, like nice and straight, and the other one was all, whoop, like tried I, to fall down. It was bad. I was obsessed with my bangs in the past. I know it doesn't seem like I would have a lot <laughs> of bangs these days, but trust me, like I would be like, is there a part? Is there a part? I oh yeah, part. when it, the separation. Oh yeah, mine will do it right the here. The separation. I got this one section. The one. Yeah, the separation. Yeah. Oh my god! And I notice it all day. I'm. I, I had a revolution with my hair. It would always go to the right. And then one day, some kid that would always joke with me about my hair for some reason was like, you should start doing it to the left. And the next day I came to school with my hair to the left on purpose just to like make him laugh. But it literally laid that way so much better. And my hair was way more voluminous and all that. So I did it to the left till I cut it short. And always thank you, left. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Always. And not, not MySpace Tom, but headbanging and Tom on MySpace. Thank you, Tom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's always left that's like my that's always been like my thing you gotta yeah. push it to the left now it's back to so the like right. face the left like the tip is on the right and then it's to the left is that what you mean yep i'm left-handed so everything okay. everything pushes that way wait would you look good in middle parts because i didn't understand the answer it was just kind of like a <laughs> she did it on a live stream <laughs> i did it on a live stream absolutely not but i could not rock a middle like part. no oh, i, I don't you just can't do it physically no, I don't, I don't like it. I can't do it. I look very weird any other way than the way I look. I've tried. I've tried I just to see. test it. I actually, my little brother, uh, he convinced me to buy a green blouse um, and a brown wig. Uh, oh, no. And he convinced me to take out part of my piercings. So like normie content is coming. <laughs> oh um, no, I'm excited. Just do <laughs> I'm it. Not. That would look cool. Just no, I, I, I love your look. I really yeah. love your look. I have yeah. to say, and it's, it's so, I love that you're kind of like reviving and bringing back scene onto TikTok where there's a lot of young people right now. There and are. Yeah. But then there's also the people who are like probably around your age or millennials just in general who just love that type of stuff. I'm sure. Cause like you're bringing back what we, like you look like Lita and everybody misses Lita. So like, are you the new Lita of TikTok? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that we would don't be need, are you honor. need to replace anyone. She's just she is Luna Ghostess of TikTok. But 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 you are super seen. Were you seen what I can't I don't ask a woman her age ever, but like were you a scene girl? You said you were a scene girl in two thousand six or two thousand five to two thousand six. Okay. That was the beginning. That was the beginning of it. The beginning okay. of the, the transformation into it. I'm twenty five. So oh, okay. 
Okay. Um, well, in in two thousand six, I, I'm lucky enough age wise. You know, every grade that I was in was the year. So two thousand six, I was in sixth grade. Um, oh, oh, you're my age. You're literally the same grade as me and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Graduation twenty thirteen. <laughs> oh, oh, so you're a year I'm under. Old. Okay, you're right. under. <laughs> yeah, I'm twenty twelve. Yeah, I know, I know. Every, it's funny because, like, when you're a millennial and you're younger, then you're, like, people always say you're old, but then to the Gen Z, or they say you're young, but then to Gen Z, you're old, and it's, like, you I'm can old never in just general. be the right age. <laughs> yeah, you guys, I'm going to eat That's okay. Up. My brother's 18. He turned 18 in October, and he decided, he had the audacity to genuinely tell me I'm old, and it made me sick. Oh, <laughs> I was that like, was only the first You are not, time you're not old. That was like my first like big like hit oh, to my right. heart on my age. Cause not only am I, you know, like, okay, he thinks I'm old, but I'm a mom of a two year old now. Like Gen and Z I look the way that, that I do. Look 20 years old. <laughs> you don't look twenty five. You honestly, like I, I guarantee like you I if I saw you back then I would think you were the same age when you were sixteen as you are now. If that helps. Like, <laughs> That's why I had to ask how old you were, because like usually I wouldn't ask if I thought the person looked older but I knew that you looked very young to me so I was like I wanted to ask if like but then I realized you said you were seen since 2006 so I was like oh, okay so she wasn't born in 2006 okay. I was not <laughs> okay, okay. So, <laughs> so okay so 2006 right so I'm wondering was it if it wasn't like individual like influencers that got you into it would you listen to it for music like was music your influence um so partially um when I started into it, it was literally just those goth and emo kids on TV. You know, those like, the like token character of, a, of an alternative person. It was them. It was always, always, always them. Um, and I loved like uh, old cartoons where there was that one alternative kid, you know, and I, I, I fell I in love with all like, of those so much. I like, like growing up creepy. I love that show. Um, <laughs> I uh, would always watch, um, <gasps> oh my God, 16. That's what it's called. <laughs> 16. I was like, is it 16 or 17? 17 doesn't make sense. It's a number. Um, <laughs> yeah, close enough. <laughs> um, like, oh, I don't know I'll if you guys sense. ever watched 16. But like, uh, you know, there was like a preppy kid and a skater like stoner kid and then a preppy girl and all the girl. Song? And I was like, that's me. I want to be her. What is this and on? Like, 16? Yeah. Um, it was on Nickelodeon, I believe. Oh, it's an older show? It's older, yeah. <sighs> um, it was, old, it was, old. it was not very well known. And then uh, I actually saw some cosplays come back on TikTok recently of it, and my heart dropped. My little like child, just childhood me, exploded oh over it. Oh my god, have you seen Alex that. Mack? <clears throat> no. Oh my god, the old Nickelodeon show where she like melts into like a silver liquid and like goes under doors and stuff, and she had like magical powers because of like a nuclear. Anyway, I just wanted to see <laughs> how old I am compared to everyone else. Nickelodeon. That wise. sounds familiar. The no, secret, you know, you, the secret world sounds, of Alex Mack. I, I don't know. You would turn into liquid and just. She had her best friend was this black kid that like played baseball, I think, named Raymond. Oh my god, how do I remember this? I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you grew up on it. I don't. I think I didn't even grow up on it. I was like three when it was out. <laughs> You're making me well, interested in it, though. I know. Yeah, I know. It's like a new show. But I think alternative girls. I I think a lot of like you know like Kim Possible, like the bad girl was she go. That's who I thought of. And then Danny Phantom's mm -hmm. girlfriend as well. Sam. Like, I love that. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. <Damn. laughs> yeah. Like all of I those like do. art alt like dark girls like you know full dark aesthetic. I. That's the, those are my influences that's why I was like it's so weird that like I would see all of these like scene queens and all of these people thriving in that look but I wasn't looking at them I was looking I at all saying. of these like cartoon girls that hit just hit right and I Wait, needed it Luna you are the blue she go I love that I love that I, take, I accept <laughs> I accept that is an honor and I accept like in it in every way except the villainous way like maybe you're your villain you're probably... I want the glowy hands now Ooh, Ooh, I want... yeah. I'll be wrong <laughs> and this is Kim I feel like possible this... I was gonna I'm say Kim? Kim stoppable I'm Kim possible where are you if it was a what <laughs> That was me being Kim Possible. Okay, uh, this was a scene of like, call me, beat me. All right, anyways, we're going to forget that <laughs> happened. 
So no, that this is, I can already see like, is this, this should be like, you should do this, do that as like a TikTok video, like the Kim Possible. Do you, you do that a little bit, right? Like you like talk over like the Possibly. noises and the songs and stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, okay. So let's, let's get on the subject of TikTok, right? So, um, I have some questions. You and Jay. <laughs> Jay? <laughs> Jay? <laughs> Um, is that is that your boyfriend no um jay and i are really really good friends um we actually met on tiktok and uh the whole shipping thing started because him and i decided to just like bicker on tiktok for fun so we were throwing shade at each other and Mm -hmm. then people were like no we ship that yeah and it just it just went up from there and then we finally got to meet for the first time in person um and people were already doing it and so we tried the electric love challenge um and uh jay we always thought it would be funny to flirt with me in my live streams and on my videos so it just kept that that shipping just kept going up and up because we kept poking at it and then the electric love happened and it's just been like wait for those who don't know what the electric love challenge i'll I'll put her video on this in a clip right now oh boy (laughs) And every night my mind is running around her. Thunder's getting louder and louder. Baby, you're like lightning in a bottle. I can't let you go. that's cute it's cute (laughs) it was fun it was well because we did because we did two um technically three but we did two because the first one we were both very not necessarily uncomfortable but just nervous um because we didn't know how people were going to react we didn't know what was going to happen to us in our heads it was like a lot of like giggle panic if you know what i mean like did he have his own fault like has he always had his own following and stuff um the funny thing is he was so much smaller than me for so long and one day his he just he skyrocketed his oh, follows yeah. doubled and now he just recently hit a million. Oh. Wow. So it's pretty have you I'm really had proud. A big following? Have you have you had a, like how long have you no. had a following? Um my following started on TikTok of tw- uh uh in March 2019. Nice. Before yeah. a year before the God, pandemic even. Heard. That's good. That yeah. You, you work for it so boom boom. Yeah. Yeah, that that's when I like kind of, and then you know it it picks up and slows down. But the way I look, I the way I look does help a lot. I mean, it totally you're, does. You're aesthetically pleasing. You really are, and that's just yeah. like the truth. Oh, <laughs> a- thank you. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're my favorite color too. But <gasps> I'm just a color, and I'll take that. You I are. Have, I literally have hair style on my desk. Nothing <laughs> more than a color to me. Is that you're ion? More than a color. It is ion. It is. <laughs> Honestly, to get this color, I mix so many different. Co- I could not tell you what brand it is because I mixed fifteen different ones in the What's one. What's your neck bowl. tattoo? Um, mm-hmm. I have a wolf, a rose, and some stones. Um, and then a peony. Oh my hair! A peony and a moon. A peony. And then on the back, yeah, a peony, like a peony flower. <laughs> they're they're like a really weird. Like here, I can try and get closer. It's like a really oh, okay, pretty, okay. I think they're a pretty almost flower. Almost like a lotus yeah, flower, really but not. Yeah. Almost a lotus, almost a lotus, right? It's like a rounded off lotus. Lotus. It's funny because this podcast is Life on the Emo Scene, which we abbreviated to Lotus. Lotus. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah. but okay, it's not spelled the right way, but you know. Are you a My Chemical Romance fan? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So oh, oh, I am playing with the volume. Okay. Sorry. Um, so yeah. no life, life on the emo scene came from like life on the murder scene, which was like the, my chemical romance DVD. Ooh, title yeah. reveal, yeah. title origin reveal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's our whole thing. And I, I love that. I love, I love diving into emo culture and scene culture. You came up and- with the idea. I was like, you're smart. We're doing this. <laughs> we couldn't think of a name for the longest time. So I think it's a cool idea. I like it. I like yeah. the name. Yeah. I came up with the abbreviation, if that helps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was a, it's a, a team effort. It's it's been a, a lot team of fun. Effort, yeah. Absolutely. 
and we've been it's it's been really cool being part of tiktok i'd say like from and i'm sure you're going and i know i know you're going through the same experience so like i have been talking to people who i used to like look up to that used to be like people i really loved i started yeah. talking to nate's girlfriend you started talking to nate as well didn't you <laughs> and his girlfriend yeah yeah cass and, like I, that. cass and i became friends really really fast me and nate and cass we all kind of I'm actually, I'm going up there next week. You want to elaborate, guys? Nate who? Just so the audience will know exactly who we're talking about. Nathan Owens, Ahoy Nato. Okay. From uh, from YouTube. Leader, 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 leader. Yes, ex-girlfriend, but also known for his work with Destry Smith, who he canceled, essentially. Okay, I I saw that on your 60-second segment. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, Um, you guys. Oh, I'm sorry. What were you saying? I was just going to say that um, it looks like for some reason Zoom is ending on us in seven minutes. Oh, um, well, can I uh, say something then real quick for yes, our audience? Yes, really quick. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, so I wanted to introduce this segment into this episode for the first time. Um, and Jess and I, Jess being the Emo Chronicles, and I thought of an idea for our audience. Luna over here is a very current scene girl, but she has the aesthetic of an original scene kid, like an OG scene kid, because she's been an OG scene kid, but she's also a modern modern day scene kid. If you're a modern day scene kid, send images of yourself, pictures of yourself, to the Lotus Podcast Instagram, which is life on the emo scene. That is the username, life on the emo scene. Look that up on Instagram, send messages of yourself. We will pick a winner of who we believe is the most well i mean it's not gonna be a winner we'll just pick one of your guys's images and we're gonna compare it to uh, a current scene kid and a scene kid of the past and we're gonna just look at certain things why are you guys laughing at me no no it's just been about three <laughs> minutes of a very long explanation i'm just letting you do your thing <laughs> i i was hoping you were gonna pick it up for no from no me i was like, just waiting that out i really wanted it. to see where that went i was like why isn't she saying anything week this week is luna so you guys get it send a picture of yourself we're gonna feature it on next week's episode of life on the emo scene podcast scene kid and of the it week. seems like in scene kid of the week and it seems like we're sort of running out of time so i'm going to end this by saying luna thank you so much for joining us it was really really fun having you on here luna you're Absolutely. a goddess oh, luna, okay. i love your hair i love your face <laughs> it's not you're not just a color to me you are a beautiful <laughs> human being that brings me back you take me back to the fun and toxic times of my life. And I think that's a very oh, yes. perfect mixture because we all learned life lessons back then. Oh, well, thank you. I'm really <laughs> sorry that like my upcoming wasn't as like fancy as most people's were with different uh, influences, but no, I'm no, stuck No, no, here. no, I think oh, it was Jacob, very it was unique. It awesome to talk to you, what? No, <laughs> no she's talking really... about her influences. No, her, your influences yeah, I know. Unique. I think that's, that's so cool that you came up with it yourself, that you listened to music and you, you saw things you liked and you just did your own thing. You vibe so I think that's you awesome. You, you, you put a whole vibe on yourself. You, you put your whole inner vibe onto your outer shell. Like 100% <laughs> you. I'm, I'm all about it. Yeah, no, that is so awesome. So oh, thank, thank, you, you. thank you again for being on this podcast. I appreciate it. I, so um, I would normally say let's talk at the end of this, but I think it's going to cut out on us because me and Eden were on a call for a long, long time. Yeah, so, Eden and I, Eden and I. No, I'm kidding. Eden I'm so I. sorry. I love you. I'm not okay. that. Okay. Well, okay. We're going to leave it at, at, at this note. Um, love you guys. Tune into next week's episode. We may have a host. We may not. Was she in Black Veil Brides? Tune in and find out. Bye-bye. <laughs>